Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and today we're here for some World Zombination, and, you know, to keep with my collection of hats, I decided to wear this bad boy. It's pretty swanky, it's Santa, and it's a Santa hat, and it's really warm. I'm a fan of it, it's cool. It's a classic, it's a good hat, but, um, anywho, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna have, like, a little five-part mini-series for the survivors, I'm gonna do the same for the infected as well. But I thought we'd just do that for the duration of this update. Have 10 episodes, both all Let's Plays. But I'm all, of course, I'm going to have some other random videos kind of mixed in there to keep you all a little fresh on your toes and whatnot. Because as you guys know, I've thrown out a couple pretty legit videos in the past few days. I've enjoyed them. They were good. But I want to get some Let's Plays out there. And of course, I'm going to try to get some double uploads when I can. Because it's Christmas break and I'm feeling festive and I want to get as much as I can out there for you guys. So, with that being said, let's get to this video. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I don't even know yet. What I actually kind of wanted to ask you guys is kind of have a fan-driven, community-driven Let's Play series. So, if y'all want to comment, if you want to see something, throw it down there and I'll make sure to get in that next Let's Play episode. Because these episodes are pretty much just random stuff, me doing, you know, just attacking talking through it for funsies kicks and giggles but if you guys want to see something make sure to throw it in the comments and i will make sure to get that for you guys but anywho let's get to it so are there any events going on barcelona i won something of course my i, I, I always have max units i don't even know what it is i just get too much free stuff okay let's just get rid of these not so good units oh feeders in Okay, so now we can collect the rewards. Maybe we'll get some good. 355 crates plus 11 and 48 guild, and that's it. Okay, so there is something going on there. Oh, no, it ended. Okay. PvP, the season is complete. Is there anything going on? All right, there we go. PvP. Let's see. Who can we revenge? Do I know any of these people? No, 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 no. I don't know any of these people. Okay. So, I really don't know any of these people. So, we're just going to play a little PvP, and we'll jump around to other spots as well. Actually, I'm going to do this, get some crates. I'm going to work on getting some crates. So, I was doing this the other day, but I was doing LA, but let's do Honolulu for today. I'm feeling like going to Hawaii. It's cold, and I want some warm weather. So, we're going to go there. Let's go ahead and fight, because we haven't done anything yet. Let's go on hard. I think that'll be difficult enough. I like that. Borrowed troop. Too much team power. Oh, yeah, I want hard. Accept. Hard. Fight. Welcome to paradise. That pi that picture really looks like paradise. I mean, I really want to go there. Looks really nice. All right, so what do we have here? We have some foremen, some daredevils. Got some brutes slash colossuses, biohazards, morticians, runners. Oh, it's the whole shebang. Anything you could ever want from a map, you're getting it right here. Okay, so... I kind of like this. This is a very interesting because the way it's laid out, it's got some pretty large straightaways, which one, there's walls, so you're protected. But the problem is those daredevils could jump over the walls. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to put one machine gunner down and I'm going to accompany that with a couple mercenaries and let's throw one, one commando. So if those uh, delivery men do get a little bit close to those walls, they'll be able to take them out really quick. And give that machine gunner tons of time to warm up. And once that guy is warmed up, it's game over. These guys are going to be able to take it. Because look at this. These guys are both going to be funneled into this straight away. Both into the machine gunners. Just, they're done. They don't have, they don't stand a chance. Over here, something very similar is going to happen. Uh, not too different. However, we are getting a little close to this objective point. So I'm going to move these guys up just a little bit. We're going to have two fire chiefs there. We're going to have one paramedic. And I'm going to throw three mercs right behind this wall here. And I like that. Do we have any spitters or anything? No. Okay. So I'm feeling good about this. Let's go ahead and start these waves. I'm very confident in my squad here. Looks like we're going to have... Okay. Here's what I'm talking about. These runners, these guys are going to be able to get over these walls. However, I put some, mercen some mercenaries and some commandos and they're able to take them out. No problem before they can even get over that wall. And of course, the machine gunner is going to get warmed up very soon and just start mowing down all these drones they're pretty much done now over here i did something a little bit more interesting now that machine gunner got warmed up pretty quickly he didn't have any problems so that was pretty nice but what i did here is i put the fire chiefs there pretty much to just take damage for that guy because there's no spitter so they're not gonna be shooting past and they're gonna be able to kind of move up a little bit 
start taking damage and pretty much allow the machine gun to be safe. And if those guys go down, I have some mercenaries to help protect the house. Got a lockdown defense over here. Went ahead and stim that guy up. Let me go ahead and send these waves here. As you can see, it's getting pretty hectic over here. Goodness gracious. Let me go. Oh, I don't want to do that. Send early. All right, machine gunner is warmed up. He is taking down everything. And he's got a couple drones. We just have lots of drones here. Look at all these mutated zombies. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. All right. So those guys are locking down over there. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and use a Maltzav cocktail over here to go ahead and try to take out some people. Just got a couple drones left. They're going to get close and they're just going to get wiped out. They don't stand a chance. Game over. I love it. Sweet. So really the best thing about guild raids is one, you're getting lots of stuff. You're getting lots of XP for your guilds, as you can see right here. Uh, 130 guild XP. That's really nice. going to help you guys level up your guild, get some more guild perks, and those are always very nice. Plus, you get a lot of crates, and crates are used for upgrading, and upgrading is good. It's very good. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. This is pretty much going to be focused on Honolulu for this episode. Let's go ahead and fight hard again. I think I'm going to be borrowing this BA Mercenary from Batman. Choose, accept, hard fight. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Get hyped, guys, get hyped. Balancing difficulty. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just... Hmm. This is a much different layout than the last... Alright. I can work with this. I can work with this. Why did I not bring along my machine gunner? I have a buzzsaw, though. That's decent. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna stack that area in just a moment here but right here i'm gonna go ahead and put my destructor move that up a little bit it's so gonna put a yeah let's put a paramedic down there emt and uh, i don't even know commando all right that's an interesting little squad there let's see how that works out i may have to do some extra reinforcing but it's all good no worries there over here, I'm going to put my buzzsaw down. We're going to put two commandos and a couple mercs. Fill in the rest of that area. That should lock that down pretty well. And just in case, I'm going to throw a fire chief back here just to kind of take damage, hold off those biohazards for as much as we can. Don't want them get getting too close to our buzzsaw because he will probably go down pretty quick. And that would be bad. So over here, this guy is just going to be moved over there, kind of relocate a little bit. And we're going to throw down some commandos. Don't have anything too powerful to be able to take out those foremen and the Colossuses, but we're going to make the best of it. So let me go ahead and I'm going to throw down one EMT to kind of heal up my guys and throw down another mercenary. It's always nice to have a healing unit in there. And I'm feeling pretty good about that area over there. And worse comes to worse, if they do break through that destructor and the commando and the EMT, I can always throw down some more people right over here and we'll have a good little crossfire thing going on. So... Right off the bat, these drones are coming out. They're running right into the fire chief. And, of course, he's holding off just the way I wanted to. It's beautiful. Getting the job done. Go ahead and send these guys here. Slow this down a little bit. Check on over here. So, as you can see, they're causing a pretty decent damage over here to the foreman. But if we can just take out those biohazards pretty quickly, we are going to be very good. Because we just don't want them running into that area too quickly. Because if they do, they're going to scar. These guys are lower health. They don't have the most health in the world. So they're going to be taken out pretty quickly. Go ahead and send these groups right here. Now, Colossus, they have a little bit more damage. They got a little bit more oomph to give. And that can cause problems for us. But good thing. Okay, there's a biohazard right there. Let me go ahead and flare these guys away a little bit. Keep them off just for the moment here. And we should be able to take that biohazard out real quick there. Nice. Let's go ahead and relocate to another pad here because we're getting a pretty good view of that. So our fire chief did go down, but it's no problem here. We seem to be holding them off just fine. Over here, it's a different story. They are getting demolished. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and throw down my last couple guys here. And I'm going to have to use my Maltzoff cocktail. Bang, bang. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start preparing for the worst. I went ahead and put an EMT in there with a fire chief i think yeah he's hiding behind that merc now i did that just because i want to have a little bit oomph because i i figured they were going to break through they did and the good thing is we got a fire chief there to take damage for us no worries at all in comes the mortician re 
just invitalizing that unit. That's one of the thing. The mortician, all he really, she, he, I don't even know what it is. What that unit is, it brings back the mutated zombies back to life. And if you can, you can get a perk where it will mutate in a way or change the blue survivor pads into purple zombie spawning pads, which can be very, very good. It's got a lot of endless possibilities there, but it's a fun unit. I'm working on upgrading mine as I speak, but let's go and get one more attack in. It's going to be a little bit longer episode. I don't know if y'all are going to stick around this long. If you are. You to bomb, you to bomb. All right, let's get one more attack in right here, and then we will call it a day. Fight. Actually, let me change my team up a little bit. We're going for the OP overpower team. Machine gunner in there. I'm going to swap out my lumberjack for a sniper here. And we're just going to borrow that Merc from Batman again. Hard fight. This will kind of change the dynamics a little bit, because with the sniper, we'll be able to take out those uh, Colossuses for him in a little bit quicker. It'll make things easier. I'm pretty excited for this little change we have here. So, so far, looking interesting here. What to do? What to do? Now, here is what I'm going to do with this area right here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a machine gun. It's a long shot, but I'm going to give it a shot. Fire Chief is going to be up there chilling. And let's throw out. And so, I a Merc. So, what we're going to be doing is here, we're going to just try to delay as much as we can let the machine gun get going we should be set now it's not too close to a hospital so we have a chance to kind of make up for our loss you could say if anything does happen but i'm not too worried there now i'm going to do a similar thing with the mercenary over here i'm going to throw down two sharpshooters and the rest are going to be mercs so we got a lot of guys camping out here in the back giving them plenty of time to warm up and then once they get close the mercenaries are going to cause problems for them until the machine gunner is warm so we have one more pad to defend and it is right on over here and what i'm gonna do with this pad we're gonna put the buzzsaw right up here on this wall move these guys in over here put four commandos down well three and two mercs we're gonna go and start that wave and speed it up so these guys are gonna get close they're gonna be wiped out instantly by those commandos and mercs those drones did not stand a chance and the bus house also warmed up so it's pretty much just game over that pad is on total lockdown they won't stand a chance now over here it's a different story this is gonna be interesting i need that come on fire chief do do something for me okay the, the machine gunner warmed up he had plenty of time actually i'm not entirely sure what the fire chief's doing i just need him to go up and do something come on fire chief go do your thing there he goes. All right, so the machine gunner's warmed up, and that pad is locked down. Level 28, what is it, 28? I believe. 26. Level 26 um, machine gunners. Totally beasts. They do not stand a chance. They're so beast. All right. So we won. Completed it. Let me kind of clear up what I was trying to say. Machine gunners are OP. They're amazing. All right, so we cleared that. Honolulu is down. I hope you enjoyed this second upload of the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.